Hi, this is Scott from Gary, Indiana. So a couple of interesting things about Nike of Samothrace. The title came first, and that kind of informed how the music sounded. Very powerful. Um, Nike is the Greek goddess of victory, so there was always a, a sense of something um, epic and earth-shattering about it. We recorded the drums in... Uh, a kind of warehouse-like venue called the White Hotel, which is in Salford, outside of Manchester, um, near to uh, a prison called Strange Ways. And it's a really interesting space. We like to record in, in spaces that feel like they impart something on the sound. We kind of got a bit more than we bargained for with the White Hotel. The, uh, the roof is corrugated metal, and there was a torrential downpour of rain whilst we were setting up to record. So it just sounded like we were in a war zone or something when we were when we were setting the microphones up because there was just rain hammering against the roof and it was reverberating around. And I mean, it sounded really cool, but you know, it wasn't necessarily what we'd intended. So luckily when we started to record the drums, the, the rain, I think died down a bit, but to be honest, it was so loud in there. It was, it was hard to tell anyway. So yeah, like that's, that's the kind of thing you face, I suppose, when you're not recording in a studio, but it's something that we revel in and, and really enjoy that there's this kind of history behind the song for us or this place uh, that there's a, that's attached to it. So the way Scott and I have been working on the vocal side of things for this project um, since we started playing together actually is that he'll send me um, basically the backbone of a song so the bare instrumentals like what he's come up with and I'll spend some time by myself with the music so I'll just have it in my headphones go for a walk listen to it on repeat for days and days and days on end um, and that's how I come up with both the melody when there is one and the lyrics. So everything I've written for this band is effectively a reflection of the way the music has made me feel, which I find is the best way for me to kind of um, truly put my emotions into what I do. So in the case of Nike, it was at some point during the first lockdown, because we were on our third lockdown here in the UK. Um, so it was at some point in the spring and I hadn't had very much human contact in a good couple of months. And I started spending a lot of time with this really dark, very kind of unnerving track, because that's what it is. It's just very odd and repetitive and grating. And it took me to a very odd place and that's how I ended up writing this really dark kind of twisted tale of an odd vengeance. It's essentially one side of a conversation between a woman walking home alone at night and a man who is essentially harassing her. And it starts off, starts off quite nicely. She's, uh, you know, talking to him, she's being polite because we're told that us women we need to be polite when those things happen and so she's you know saying you know nah, I'm, I'm fine I'm going home I'm walking home I'm all right I don't need help I don't need someone to walk me home and as it progresses he starts becoming physical with her and he grabs her so she stabs him <laughs> and I think one of the weirdest things about this song is not even what I came up with but the vocals that are actually on the track were recorded on my iPhone. Merci, mesdames. 
Ah, merde, je me défends.